Now, as we've kind of mentioned throughout the morning, it's a very sad day here at NBC 26. Today we say goodbye to our very own meteorologist, Michael Fish. It is his last day. Now, before we get all misty-eyed, we want to share some of our favorite moments together. Thanks for joining us this morning. I have a special guest. <laughs> Seriously, this is live in Green Bay right now. This is my friend, the hawk. Get out. Yeah, you're in the giant box. Look at all the room I have. See the whole sky. Sorry. Yeah. It's very Friday here, by the way. Nate, what? I'm talking Nate. Real quick, because I have to. It just updated. It's going to be a big Nate, story. Go ahead. Looks like you're going to blow away. All right, thanks, fish. <laughs> He's just as bad. He's dressed up a rabbit. We I saw. have a bunny. We have a house bunny <laughs> with a little hat on. You're just, you're just as bad. What are you laughing at? You're old here. I got like four inches. We all have those days. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. You're always good at these. What would you name the, the zebra colt? Zebra McZebra, he said. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know me very well, I'm obsessed with cars even more than the weather. Things are joining me there, Fish. <laughs> I don't. Like, I'm just, coming? I don't know where After that severe weather outbreak, I've just been a little spacey. It was a long 30 hours. You just so. sprinted here. You just barely made it. <laughs> that rain starts to evaporate. Everything starts coming down. The hail core starts coming down. And then it all comes just blowing right out of the bottom of the storm, which is it pretty much collapsing if it's losing its balance. So we're having a bit of a moment in here, right behind the camera while she was reading the story. I held it together pretty good there. A little visitor, had a little mouse. I mean, it's the second biggest snowstorm that we've ever seen in Green Bay. Bring you the best newscast that we possibly can. Lisa like gonna get some McDonald's? <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. What do you think? And, and then he just has to eat it. Oh, there right he is. In front of us. Yep. Zachary Skidmark created one is calling a lumberjack gem. <laughs> I think I got his name wrong. How do you know so much about wings? Because I like them. Yes, you do. Thank you. This is the most Monday start to a newscast you've ever seen. Or because you said it's moving in. You know, are they packing their bags? because they're moving in. All right, O'Neal, <laughs> give me my tower cam here. Oh man, I am literally sitting here laughing and crying <laughs> at the same time. I don't even know where to start. Um, it really has been one of the greatest pleasures of my life, Fish, working alongside you. And um, you've made working here so enjoyable for me. And we've had so many laughs together, obviously, you could see. And um, it's just really been an honor working with someone with so much experience. You're so truly talented. And you've really taught me a lot through our journey together. So I just know <laughs> we're going to be lifelong friends. And I was just going to add on to that. I know I haven't worked <laughs> yeah. as long with you as Brooke has. Just looking at all those laughs, too. But we've definitely had our fair share of laughs. But Fish... You're definitely memorable, and I was going to say all our conversations and the insider tips you've taught about cars and car washes and to meet, going to really appreciate that, and you're really going to be missed. No, thanks, you guys. Thanks. You know, it, it, it's, it's been a run. It has been a run. We've had some really good times. You think, I mean, I've been doing this for almost 15 years. I've worked with some awesome coworkers like Brooke, Abby. Um, apparently, and I've seen you, of course, this has left me with a heck of a honey-do list, of course, around the house. So I made the decision to turn over my coffee mug and, of course, the clicker to a very capable meteorologist while I spend some time catching up on the honey-do list, and I need to catch up on some sleep. There's that, too. And as I leave you, I'm going to leave you with some sunshine. 